Hi, today is August the 28th, 2021, and I am reading on the case of Kiera Coles. Um, she is a woman of color who went missing in um, October of 2018. Uh, you might be familiar with her case. Um, you may not. She was a, a postal worker that was three months pregnant. She was 26 years old and she went missing one day. Um, so we're looking to see who is responsible. Now, um, she didn't get along very well with other, uh, how to put it, ex-girlfriends, of uh, her husband, not her husband, I'm sorry, her boyfriend, uh, who, with whom she was newly pregnant. His name was uh, Josh Simmons. But she didn't get along with some of the, he had apparently fathered some children with uh, another woman and one there was one that she didn't apparently, from what I understand, get along with. Um, so we're just going to look and see what the cards will reveal as to who is responsible. First, I want to put that forth. Uh, who is responsible for the disappearance of Kiara Coles from Chicago in October 2018? She was three months pregnant. Who is responsible for that? Who is responsible for Kiara Coles being missing? Who is behind it? And will Kiara be found ever? Uh, well, let's just see who's behind it. Who is behind Kiera's disappearance. Let's see what we get. I'm using the um, Light Seers Tarot. In case you're curious. All right. We have a Queen of Swords. Now, Kiera was a Libra. Um, so this could be her. Or it could be someone else, but I tend to think because before I began the reading, I took note that um, she has a tattoo that says Lucky Libra, so automatically I knew she was a Libra. So I knew that I would be looking as far as her identity would be through air. So this could be her. All right, crossing her. We have the Ten of Swords. This is Overkill. Somebody who really, really wanted her dead. Wanted her gone. I'm just, I know that's pretty jarring, I'm, but um, I have to say what I feel, and I'm, I'm trying to moderate it a bit, um, but it's not good. I think this is based on children or a child. Possibly here with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like that's like she was in her first trimester. Possibly a Queen of Cups. That's what crowns her. This is the Three of Wands in the recent past. And we have the Queen of Wands 
in the near future in the position of this reading. Um, I believe this is connected. <clears throat> this makes me, the Queen of Cups makes me feel like it's her, the fact that she was pregnant with child. And I, this just this Queen of Cups and, and these cards just make me with the with the Page of Pentacles really makes me feel like the pregnancy issue the the, chi, the you know children I'm actually looking towards maybe somebody in in that more of a female as responsible and I mean with the Ten of Swords this woman would have really wanted her gone. And the Three of Wands says to me that this person put some kind of effort, made some sort of plans or effort, and then had to kind of wait for things to fall into place. There's, there's, they were watching, there's something here. So it feels a bit set up. And then they were, they did it. This is, I feel like, a woman. Someone that she's dealt with. There may have been a couple women also. Um, but one in particular, I think, more than another. It's based on, uh, I'm sorry, it's not based on, but this is the card of a of judgment. And I feel like this is actually Kiera in spirit. Bringing our attention to something here. Because I feel like this is, I get the sense that this is her going from human form into spiritual body. And then gaining um, that enhanced understanding that we don't have in the corporeal form. Uh, that we do or can access in the spiritual, more of the spiritual body more easily, obviously. Um, this also makes me feel like this is someone's choice to take her life. They made that call. They made that decision, that judgment. Four of Swords. This is in the environment. I feel like woods or something course with the nest and the air <clears throat> I'm getting like woodland I think that's where her remains are to be honest with the four of swords this talks for, for me when I'm looking at a missing person case usually this is either somebody not feeling well or needing to recuperate or they have passed and this is a burial you know um, area or where they've been placed and with the four of swords I'm gonna say in the nest here I feel like it's someplace with a, like woodland like where there's trees and brush that, that could be used, branches and things. And I think she's still there.
hopes and fears of this person responsible? Well, I think they hoped that they'd be again the center, that's what came to me, the center of attention and then on them. Um, I feel like this woman is a woman that likes to have attention when she, when she you know, wants it. I mean, but I, I, there's something here about, I think, with maybe Kiara being pregnant, um, this person may have felt like they were going to get less attention in some way. This is complicated. This is, you know, the problem of having getting too involved with too many people. Eight of Swords. This to me is the abduction card. Also when I look at uh, and, and restraint. I think they tied her up. There's even, if we look at this card, two females here, but um, I think there could be two females involved. They I think one of them is definitely a mother with a child of, I think, frankly, from what I know of a little bit, and I don't know that much of the case, I think it's possible it could be, and again, this is an entertainment channel, this is all alleged for entertainment purposes only, these are cards, right? But the symbols say um, that, and my intuition, that it's a woman. Uh, we're looking at, and I think not just one. I think she had a helper. I think one of them, uh, whoever would be more fiery of maybe two women. I think she had a friend that could have helped her in some way. And again, this is that three of wands. It's just, I don't know. But definitely a woman is what I get, is responsible, abducting her. And this was something that was planned. They wanted her gone. They felt like, I will have more attention again, uh, you know, without her in the picture to me here. Um, and this is really cold, really stone cold. Okay. The Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Hmm. I'm getting this person felt like, again, this is a, 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 another underline of somebody felt that with her out of the way that they would be the strongest they would be stronger they would have more attention that they'd be in a stronger position with maybe someone else um but just that things would be better they would be in a stronger position without her in the picture Eight of Cups and the Four of Cups. But here's what happened instead. So that didn't change things. So they did this act that's horrible. Um, abducted her and I think somehow dispensed and I, I really feel like it, she was bound in some way. 
and I think they've placed her remains in an area that is um, with the swords, like I said, air, and because I'm being shown a nest and just thinking of trees, um, a woodland, I just keep I really get a strong sense of more of a wooded area that she's been left in. And I feel like something's debris or something's been um, placed around or maybe even over her. For whoever did this, the Four of Cups and the Eight of Cups, they left the area, is what I'm getting. Maybe one of the women that <laughs> was involved with the father of her child, uh, that had a child with him, honestly. It could have been somebody that he dated, uh, if not, or somebody who... felt like they would be in a stronger position as a woman. Uh, without her in the picture. But it didn't work. So this person left. This was something that was planned. Some people have thought maybe, you know, and understandably so, because often it is, the father of the child. Um, from what I understand, his name is Josh Simmons. I don't, for a while, they couldn't find him. I don't know if they ever have. Um, some people are and their family aren't sure whether or not, you know, there's some conflict about, you know, whether or not he was capable. But there's someone definitely, if it's not him, connected to him. They feel they got abandoned. So instead of it working out for them with getting, I think, more of being in a stronger position that they thought they would get, now they they get disappointed that doesn't happen, and they're abandoned. So whatever they thought that they were going to get by having her gone did not manifest, and this individual left, and I think it's a woman. Yep. She it's about a love and relationship. Yep, the father. I think there was still a female um that was not over him. Unless he did this because it was causing too much trouble. But I think it's more likely that there's a female that did it and she was trying to get his attention back on her, but it failed. It didn't work. Instead, she gets abandoned. And he's uh, somebody that, yeah, I, I, I feel like he chooses to abandon her. I don't think, because I get these cards first. Two of Swords. So now she's trying to lay low. Not sure what to do. And worried now.
Hmm. So internally, I feel that the person responsible for Kiera um, is upset that taking her out didn't work. This person en ended up um, abandoned by, I feel like, the father of her child. We have the love relationship with the uh, hero, with I'm sorry, the emperor, and yeah, I see somebody that they regret doing this now. And they took, you know, they did this. This is this is like realization kind of sinking in. But more, it's selfish though. It's still more that I tell you, if he had turned around and given this person what they expected, um. be different he this could also symbolizing that you know nobody knows where he is or whatever he left this person that did it and the the area just poof. so they did not get what they wanted which was i think more of this man's attention i honestly think it's a woman this is fighting this person's a lot of drama and i believe it's a queen of wands in this case i believe it's a um loud she's loud and I believe um, stirs up drama. Yeah. This case needs a different perspective. And instead of perhaps looking at the men or a man, they need to look at a woman. I would also say there's a this is the person that that uh, did this. She's had some kind of protracted um, fighting competition with, at least through the eyes of I believe the woman that did this, if I may be so bold. And again, like I said. It's all allegedly for entertainment purposes only by use of what the cards, the symbols, the cards show me. Trying to keep the secret. But if they just changed the direction, changed how they've looked, they would it would become very apparent to them. Yeah, the fool. This is the risk, big risk, very bold risk those uh, person took with the child and everything. It's um, this is a big secret. This person does not want it known that they killed someone who was pregnant. This woman definitely doesn't want that shame on herself. But she totally did it. I really believe that it is not, in all probability, the the father of Kiera's child that did it. It's. I think more likely with the cards that I'm shown that there's a woman that um, planned this and carried it out and they may have had help a friend help unless unless he was a part of that but I see that I don't really think so because I I see this person being disappointed that in doing this plan that they get abandoned they don't know where he's at he does not want them to know where he's at i think he's possibly quite scared of this person i think josh probably knows who did it and does not want to have 
anything to do with it. Now, I don't know if they've, if anyone has even been able to find him. I, I limit the information that I, I read. I just kind of try to see the basics. And um, I think he may have left because he was concerned about, you know, knowing who did this and, and um, not wanting to be involved. But my God, man. Knight of Swords. Yeah. Very quick. And I... I feel like he knows. And it's because of the child. And the child put her at risk with this person. I think it freaks him out um, that this person did made these plans and acted on him. Yep. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. This to me is a very motherly card again. Maternal type of a card. And that cycle. I don't know if this is Kiara's mom. But it could be a completion of a cycle where they get clarity. I believe this, this will come out. Maybe uh, if, if I'm right and again with my limited understanding and information and just with these cards, I feel like somebody's going to come forward that knows. And either whether it's him or someone else, I feel like someone comes forward and brings clarity. Maybe by contacting the mother or something of Kiara. Because when once a certain cycle is up, the, the cycle of keeping a secret, I I feel that it it's going to come out. Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands. Yeah. I, I feel that um, she will find it. They will find out what happened. And <clears throat> I think possibly also uh, death, rebirth, knight of pentacles. And the child, maybe. I'm getting... I think that they will resolve this case. I think there's a good chance that somebody or information somehow is going to come forward about who's responsible and so on and so forth. And I feel like her mother's going to get clarity. Um, I 
I, I think that um, it could lead to, you know, finding, finding her. Yeah. And I believe that this was somebody she had a protracted, continual argument with that she just did not like. They didn't like her. They may have used some means or ruse or whatever. They planned something. And I feel like it is a female. And they thought, hey, if I do this, then I'll get the guy. But they didn't. I think he ran off and left scared. Um... So that is what I'm currently getting for the Kiara Coles case. Let me know what you think in the um, comment section below. And if you appreciate my readings on a variety of different things, please make sure to uh, like and make sure you're still subscribed or that you are subscribed. And I'll see you in the next live or the next video. Thank you so much.